Hi there, my name's Andrew Adams and welcome to another Parker Adams Boat Sales video walkthrough tour. Now we're here today in the lovely Benbridge Harbour and we've come here today to look at this, which is a Cobra 755. Now the 755 is actually one of my favourite ribs that Cobra make. Now this particular boat is a 2008 boat and it's powered by the Verado 275, which is actually a really rare engine because it was only made for about one or two years, from about 2007 through to about 2009. And it was just the predecessor to the Verado 300, which then was ubiquitous with Mercury Verados for years and years. So the performance on this boat will be absolutely fantastic with 275 horsepower and it's brilliant to see an older Cobra presented in really really stunning condition. So if we walk down this way I'll start at the stern of the boat. It's been a little while since I've done a walkthrough tour on a Cobra 755. In fact the last one that I did was during lockdown. Um, you can actually see that during the Hamble River when everything was really really quiet and we got permission to do it. Um, but most of the Cobra 755s sell incredibly quickly and I think this one will be no exception to that. So one of the things that I love about the Cobra 755 is that you have so much usable family space on board the boat. Um, you can see here nestling behind is the Mercury Verado 275. Now the engine is actually running at the moment which just shows how quiet this four-stroke engine is. It really is remarkably quiet. The Cobra has been synonymous with, synonymous? Is that such a word? Synonymous, that's the word, uh, with quality over the years. And you've got this really big, chunky stainless steel radar arch. I love the little touches, like you've got the rope holders, which are just molded onto the side of the arch here. Um, and your rope just attaches onto there, then goes round there out of the way. Um, something else I've noticed on this boat that I haven't seen before is this boat's actually fitted with lifting eyes. So when boats are lifted out of the water, quite often they put lifting strops on either side, which then tend to compress the tubes. But this boat's actually got two lifting points at the stern and another two lifting points at the front. So if you were to lift this boat out of the water, you could use the strop points rather than put pressure on the tubes. But back to the rest of this boat. Um, back in, I believe it was 2021, um, this boat was completely refitted. Um, all of the upholstery was replaced and they put this really, really modern diamond stitch in. Really love the colour, it's sort of a burnt orange colour and it really sets off beautifully against the black tubes. And then they've just chosen to go with an elite teak flooring and there's a black carbon effect, what's well, a carbon effect, it's sort of a very dark graphite-y um, colour tubing with the light grey corking, which again looks very, very smart. I think what they've done with this boat is they've made the boat feel much, much more modern um, than the 2008 age would suggest. But of course, with the Cobra build quality, you've got an exceptionally well-built boat. But now with the upholstery, the teak deck, really get, has a very, very modern feel. So just a quick run through again of some of the features on board the boat and how you get access to things. If you want to get access to your batteries and see um, the bilge, then you just lift this, this hatch back up here. You've got your batteries off here on the left hand side. Loads of space to store things. There's a hose there for washing down um, and access right down into seat. You can see the bilge there and you've also got a fuel filter here and then your battery isolators just there. Now that's not the only storage at the rear, that just pops back down. You've also got storage under this seat here. So you've got really long storage there, so you can put in there um, brushes, anything you like here. They've got, not entirely sure what they've got in there actually, but they've got lots of things. So you've lots of storage space. And then again, you've got more storage space up here. So you've got tons of space to sit down, but you've also got these two hatches here. There's a first aid kit in there. There's a Cobra ribs flag, which is nice. I've seen some boats where they've put 12 volt sockets in there as well to keep your phones charged up in here. You've got two identical um, storage containers either side, and then you've got another access point here. And then through there, you've got access to the top of the, um, the fuel tank as well, where the sender gauge is as well. So loads of good storage. And also all of that is dry storage. So if you do have any waves coming over, all of those lockers are nicely sealed. The driving position on the Cobras is always exceptional. I love the way that these seats um, have this system where you click that one down and you've got yourself a very comfortable seat to do long distance, a good high height there of the um, window and the frame. So you can actually look through the window. Your, the wind will be going up above your head. But if you want a more exciting experience, then you just lift this up and turn this into the bolster position. So if we put that up into there, you can now really anchor yourself into that position there. And then if it's really heavy seas, that's my favorite place to be. Just really wedged in there, but great driving position. The helm position, sorry, the co-pilot seat does exactly the same. So your co-pilot has got the option there of either being in bolster position or normal seat. In terms of the controls, uh, Mercury were one of the first um, 
outboards to start going on these digital dials. So even back in 2008, you can see you've got a readout here of your battery voltage, the hours on this engine, 372 hours, exceptionally low hours, um, your fuel on a digital readout, and then your fuel also here on an analog gauge. And you can see it reads 48% and just under half on there. So it's nice to see those two mirrored each other. Nice good size compass and then a new Garmin chart plotter was also added to this boat um, just when the refit was done. Mercury, again, really always leading the technology, one of the first outboards to come with standard power steering. So literally with one finger there, I can turn the wheel, which is really nice, and then also fly-by-wire throttle. So this was the first generation of the fly-by-wire throttle on the Mercury. Just tuck it, tuck it into reverse and forward and just some very, very smooth controls there. Range of carling switches here that controls your sound system, your navigation lights, your anchor lights, etc. And there was also a new ICOM uh, VHF radio fitted to this boat as part of the refit as well. Just underneath here, you've got another locker. So underneath here, um, that's another locker space. And in fact, I think you've got the, um, I can hear it. I think you've got, that's oh, just up there, is it? So the power steering um, system for the engine is also stored in here, but you've got a good space in there. You could put a day bag, etc. So more storage as you go through. Right, let's move around to the front. I've always liked the, um, the Cobra, the named suicide seat here. So you can sit in here and really children can anchor themselves into here. Wouldn't recommend it at really high speeds, but certainly going out of the harbour, it's a great place where children like to sit in there um, and you can really lock yourself into the position there. Um, you can get access to the back of the electronics just through there, lift up that, just to show you there. Just lift that up and then all of your back of the electronics um, are stored just inside there. And pop that back down again. In terms of the front, you've got two configurations available. You've got the system here where you've got full sun lounging. So you can lay down here and you can just nicely relax in the sunshine. I struggle to get up again now. Um, or you can just move these out the way. These will actually store inside the seats. So you can pop them into the lockers and you've now got a really nice social area where you could get probably four people sat around here. You've got the option, you, it hasn't got one on this boat, but you can have a table base put in here and Cobra actually sell a table set up for these boats. So you can have a table here and a table at the stern as well, which is a nice addition. Um, the anchor is stored just inside here. So there's an anchor there and I just something I really like and I always look for this in a rib just to show how fastidious the owners are is a padded anchor locker there so you can see there's a nice rubber um, boot that's been put there in the anchor locker just to make sure that if the anchor's rattling around when you're in a rough sea it's not doing any damage. These boats there's a lot of water skiing going on in back in the, the 2000s so I've always liked the fact that when you lift these up they're actually fully extended all the way through there so you can get a set of skis that can push right the way through there into the anchor locker which is nice but good storage again all the fenders ropes can go into these deep lockers so I think that's probably about it for the go running through another Cobra 755. Um, I've personally owned a couple of 755s and they are one of my favorite Cobras. Um, in terms of the build quality from 2008, they really are exceptional. These are still brilliant, brilliant family ribs you can have a huge amount of fun on the water with. So just a very quick reminder, 2008 Cobra 755, done 370 hours on the Mercury Verada 275. I think this will be an absolutely fantastic boat for anyone to buy and enjoy the summer straight away. Thanks as always for watching, look forward to seeing you on the next video.